going to bet on uh, tonight's game between Cleveland and New York, but uh, Scott the Engineer started him with me. He says Cleveland will win tonight. Really? Yeah. Because... Where are they playing? Cleveland. Uh, I think they're playing in Cleveland, aren't they? Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. Because the Yankees were a wild card. You know there were even odds in the Yankee game? Even? Is that right? Yeah. Yankee versus uh, Yankees versus Cleveland. Anybody want to bet? No? Well, you don't care? I, I, I mean, I'd like to see the Yankees win, but I, I, I wouldn't bet on them. I'll hmm. bet on the Yankees. Would you? Who do you want? Do you want Yankees or Cleveland? I don't know. Who's I don't... pitching tonight? Well, Pettit, that's Andy Pettit versus... I thought Andy Pettit is injured. No, I heard this morning, unless John knows different, I thought Pettit was, uh, no, Cone is injured. Cone is injured. No, I heard sure. Pettit according, is according, injured. According to Scott, he's got a bad back. John, who's pitching Pettit? tonight? Andy yeah. Pettit against Jared Roth. Yeah, Pettit, Pettit has Pettit a bad back. Versus a, versus a rookie. Although he won in the second game. It was the same matchup in yeah. the second game. If Pettit has a bad back, maybe I will take that back. No, he says his back's fine. But he did get well, knocked he says. around. Pettit got knocked around pretty good. In the second yeah. game, same pitching he did. matchup. Hmm. He did get knocked around last game. But then again, he got knocked around against Atlanta the first game of World Series last year and then came back. Yeah, because a lot of these guys get angry and want to prove themselves after yeah. they get knocked around. I don't know that I care that much to bet. I just started getting worked up with Scott, the engineer. And you know what? Whenever you bet against him, you win. Well, there you go. <laughs> right. Bet, bet him. He says the Indians are going to win. That means the Yankees are going to win. The Yankees are a shoe in. They're a shoe in. If Scott says the Indians are going to win, it's a sure sign. <laughs> it affects the odds. The only way I know is if he bet it. If he bet it. Oh. Well, then bet him because yeah. then the Yankees will win. <laughs> yeah, Scott, you want to bet? I'll only bet Scott. <laughs> oh. How much fair. does he want to bet? <laughs> I don't have any money. I love taking his money. Probably about five bucks. I can't bet. Scott's been in the DJ. If you had bet me off the air, my wife wouldn't know. <laughs> now I can't. Scott's been in the DJ business ten years and hasn't made a penny yet. Yeah, I don't buy that. <laughs> he's always telling me how he's Why not making would any he money. Why are you doing it? Because <laughs> I'm an artist. There he is. <laughs> so fat. He is sad. Oh, You've gotten get him so that fat. shirt. <laughs> Since you quit smoking, you got fatter and fatter. How much you weigh now? Let me take a guess. Let's bet on how much Scott weighs. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, 245. Do you know oh, first fact, or no, are you just guessing? guessing? I'm gonna say. guy. I'm gonna say. Jeez. Uh, uh, gonna bet on the weight? What'd you say? Yeah, we're gonna bet I'm on. I'm saying 245. Right, let's let's uh, let's all put up a certain amount of money. We get a bet, and then we weigh Scott right now. Okay. Ten bucks each. Hey, let's Ten bucks each. Yeah. All right. Two sixty. John, you in on this? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say two sixty. All right. Well, let me write this down. Hold on. I'll tell Wait you. a minute. Pen. Yeah, I love betting. What bet. is the bet? $10? All right, Gary, you say Scott weighs two forty five. Two forty five. Okay. What do you? How tall are you, Scott? By the way. Six one. Okay, John, go ahead. Stand up. I, I let would, me look I'll, at you. I'll say. Uh, Jesus, look at that. Ow. Uh, you know what? Oh, God. Turn around so I can see your ass. <laughs> I want to take mine back. I didn't realize it was 6'1". <laughs> I'll, 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 take, I'll say 265. Uh, uh, Howard, I want to change mine. No, John, no, 265. Right All right, now. Gary, go ahead. Change it. I'm going to go to uh, 258. All right. Remember, it's the person who's closest oh. without going over. Yep. Without so going it's over. Price is right. I oh. say 250. Robin says 250. Go ahead, Jackie. Um... Gary was two fifty eight and John's what? Two sixty five. Robin's two fifty. Mm. I'll say uh, two two seventy. I'll go. Uh, two seventy. Yeah, Can he, he be that close to three hundred pounds? Yeah, he's a big. You know he could. He, he's tall and, and he's bulky. fat. Mm. Hey, look, he's going. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll bet you his head weighs fifty pounds <laughs> at least. <laughs> <laughs> He's got no, 50 pounds of tar in his lungs. There's nothing in my head. Oh, Jackie, 255. 255. Yeah, 270 is too much. Yeah, that's a little high. Uh, well, no, Robin's. Oh, yeah, okay, Robin's at 250. Go ahead, Fred. I'm lowballing. 220. 220? So he thinks maybe we're 220. all over, right? I think you guys All right, are. I'm going to go to uh, yeah. two. Oh, thank you, Fred. Real strange. Thank you, Fred. I'm going to go to two. Uh, 235. All right. I can't believe he weighs that much, but maybe he does. Although, how much do you weigh, Gary? Let me, I might want to revise that. How much do you weigh? Me? Yeah, be honest. Honestly? Yeah, put on his mic, Fred. Come I would say Gary's 200. How much do you weigh? Uh, I'm up there. I'm two, over two, 200. Two, you're what, 210? Oh. The, probably 208, 207, 208, something like that. Really? It's got yeah. to stand next are you, to Gary. Are you telling the truth? Are you too no, I'm telling the truth. I'm All right, so I'm going to say, you mean to tell me he'd only weigh a couple? No. But that's why, that's why I changed my bet. I said yeah. to myself, I can't believe Scotty uh, weighs 30 pounds more than me. It's got to be a lot yeah, more I'm than gonna that. Go, I'm going to change mine to two. 
Could I tell you how much I oh, weigh? No, no, don't oh, tell me anything. Because you got to get on the scale. It's right here. No, 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 wait. I'm going to no, go to no, two. No, I'm going wait. to 245, Robin. All right, here's ah. the bet. Gary says Scott weighs 258. John, 265. Robin, 250. Uh, Jackie, 255. Fred, 220. And I'm at 245. How much are we betting? $10 a piece. Okay. Whoever gets closest can without going over wins. Can I go uh, to 235 instead? Yes. I'll take your 230. Can I come down to 260 then? Oh. Yes. Okay. And that's it. I'm closing it out. All right. Now get on the scale. Now, Scott, tell us what you think you weigh. No, no. First, First I want to tell you what I weighed. Bets are closed. Go ahead. What I, I'll tell you what I weighed when I stopped smoking. How much did you weigh? 225. Okay. Ah, right. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm out of it. Uh -oh, I want to change it to 80. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm at 245. Probably, yeah. He's put on more than 20 pounds. You think? Yeah, well, look at him. He's huge. No, he's like wearing a he's maternity on outfit. On okay. Whoa. Oh, look at that fat. You put on 20 Come on, since Scott, we started 250. Talking. They say uh, muscle weighs more than fat, so that should probably weigh zero. I don't think there's any muscle on it. Hey, now. Yes! 265. Oh, my God. Uh, John, you would have had it right on the nose, but you win anyway. Uh, yes. Oh, my God. 265. Wow. <laughs> I thought I was high at Here, here's my 10 bucks. Uh, wow. Let's God see, damn. How much did you win? Oh, my God. How much does Gary weigh? 215. 218. Oh, no, 215. Isn't that scale off? <laughs> the scale's, no, scale's about five pounds heavy. But yeah. it, but at that point, yeah. it doesn't matter. 265. Go 270. God. Pretty good, huh? Yeah, how I talked you out of well, it. Well, 270 was over. That wouldn't have helped. Is that you and Fred? Yeah, I gained 40 pounds. Oh, it was high as Why do you give me 20 wow. bucks? Is this you and Fred? It's me and Fred. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, me? Yeah. You won, John. Yeah, you can pay me the money. 265. Yeah! <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Close, huh? And rising. <laughs> oh. Good God. Here, I got a 20, so I'll take back 10. Here's from me. Jackie Fred. Fred. Yeah. Chewing gum doesn't help. Gary, get your money? Oh, you are. Oh. Gary and Robin. <laughs> he gained 40 pounds? In four months, yeah. 40 pounds. What are you going to do about that? Is this the biggest you've ever been? Yes, absolutely. Yeah. We're going to lift up his shirt. There's tons of yeah, fat. It's all fat. So he See, won't I was going to say for the Yankees game, let's bet something humiliating. So he won't die of cancer. He'll die of a heart attack. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, maybe he has to go outside and In walk around with his shirt off. No, no, no. Yeah, I don't <laughs> bet because I know I lose. Uh, I don't know. He's not allowed to bet on the air. <laughs> we got to get him. Not money. I'm allowed to bet. Are you a man or a woman? I'm a You're not allowed man. to go to his scores. Press. His wife doesn't let him go to scores, and now he can't bet. No, uh, I can bet all I want. And then when we play cards, he lies about how much he loses. <laughs> I could. No, I don't. No. Oh. I don't have to mention how much I lose. Oh, sure. yeah, uh, by the way, Howard, as a favor to me, I would appreciate it if you would have mentioned how much I lose. Why do you do that to me? Why do you even go Some to the things game? are just between us, Howard. Yeah, some things can just be private. <laughs> Why go to the game, Scott? Sky stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a manly bond. Why go to the game? Because he loves to play cards. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want his he wife to know if he loses or if he wins. Right. But he always loses. He goes home. He's like, I broke even again. <laughs> <laughs> and I had fun. Right. No, I never. You want to bet me the uh, Yankees Cleveland game? No. No. Oh, come on. I bet a dollar, Scott. Once I bet. Who do you say is going to win? I think Cleveland's going to win. Well, so you put your money where your mouth well, is. Once I bet, the Yankees will win. That's what we're back. Right. Yeah. Exactly what so you said. So what? Don't you want the Yankees to win? I do want the Yankees to win. Yeah. You do? So yeah. Bet. Huh. But why don't you bet him something like yeah, walking around the street and Braun panties? No, I told you I don't bet. I oh. lose. I just like to see. I tell you what, man. Let's bet Braun panties. If you no no no. If you no win, no way. Listen to me. I'm doing well, I'll good. have to do it too. How about if he? Think I want to be in a Braun panties? <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> but I lose. You, don't you get don't it? Don't you have any faith in yourself? I'll take the Yankees. Absolutely not. No faith. Yeah, but it's pretty the Yankees are going to lose tonight. Come on. Either Stupid Howard ass. or you is walking Choke down the street team. in bra and panties. Come I, on. That's a good I'll tell you the truth, man. I would take Cleveland. That. You want the Yankees? No, because well, whoever I take is going to lose. How about if I put up $500? Mm. All right? Now yeah. listen to this. Okay. It's my 500 to your bra and panties. <laughs> oh, come on, Scott. It's a lot come of, on, it's a lot of money. Bucks. Big it's deal, bra and panties. It's a whole gig. I just want him in bra and panties. I don't That's care. That's a gig, and you don't even have How to How about I just give you $500 and you get into some bra We'll all chip in. <laughs> I'll kick in 100 Come on, Scott. Make a, be a man. Make the bet. Be a man. I'll kick in <laughs> be a Buddha. He's a pussy. All right, well, you know what? Think about it for the rest of the show. Okay. Okay. Come All right, on, Scott. It would be so much fun. Uh, what? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> he wants the 500 so Go bad. Do it. Do it. I'll, I'll think about it the rest uh, of the show. We can right. give, we give an answer. You know what's so funny, Howard? He hates I'm, I'm going to get a skimpy pair of panties, though, man. What are you going to take, Howard? What? A thong. I'll take whoever he doesn't. <laughs> oh, he's giving me a choice, Scott. A thong, Howard. Oh, he's giving me a choice. You're going to have to wear a thong. <laughs> and when I say oh, panties, no, listen no, to me. What? Listen to me, Scott. Listen to me, because no, I'm, I'm giving up 500 no. if I lose. It's not worth 500 Wait a minute. I want uh, a I'm going to put please. a thong. You're going to wear a thong. Not worth 500 And a little skimpy, so you, you, your little package is going to be there. <laughs> and you're going to wear a nice, beautiful bra. Oh, 
wonder bra. A wonder bra. <laughs> Push your <laughs> breasts together. Maximum to cleavage. enhance my attributes. <laughs> Not worth 500 Oh, you're no, well, so uh, ridiculous. I'm sure it is. Dominic will kick in more. Dude, I took a blast of gas. This How is nothing. How much would it take? 2000 <laughs> And a dunce cap that says loser. Uh, Come on. That would be, be so much me. fun. And I'll put up 500 <laughs> No. Okay, no good. Then get out of here. And then you don't win. A thousand. Let's have the farting I'll contest. Put up yes. another five. Wait, hold on. A thousand now, Howard. You're going to put up another 500? Yeah, a thousand. <laughs> oh, Scott, come on. <laughs> a thousand bucks riding on this. You can take whatever team you want. Because you're such a loser, we know you'll lose. They're of course. Giving That's you the, the problem. Oh, you got a 50% chance of winning a thousand Yeah, you flip a coin, it might win a thousand dollars. It's heads or tails. Yankees or Cleveland. And remember, man, you got to wear the outfit I put on you. Even your wife can't be mad at if you walk home. If you walk in with a grand, you're going to be a hero. Well, That's I'm not undeclared giving, money. I mean, I'm not giving anything of hers up if I put a bra on. Right, exactly. Out. That's right. right. But she's going to be mad because you humiliated it's, her I'm and her son. An it's your herself. dignity, not she's hers. She's been humiliated. Look, at, you know what it is? The only reason he's not doing this is because he's afraid of his wife. Absolutely not. It has nothing uh, to do with it. it is because you know she's going to go, no. How could you do that? What? Your you son has that? to go to school. No, she's afraid of And that'll be on the E show. Is he the worst liar? You ever notice whenever you ask about that, he goes into this whole monotone and he goes, Absolutely not. That has nothing to do with I know he's lying. She has nothing Because he's going, Yeah, she can't be mad at me if I humiliate myself. She has nothing to I know what he's afraid of. Hold of him. Right. That he's going to walk around the street in brown panties, and other women are going to hit on him. You know why he needs? <laughs> you know why he needs time to think about it? Why? Because he's waiting to go back and discuss exactly. it with his wife. No, no, no. Exactly. Why don't you make your decision now? It's nothing to do with yes, that. my love. I have to go out in the in the street in the brown panties. Yeah. yeah. Walk around the block, the entire block. I don't know. And, and high heels. Why you don't think when you walk out in the street now people don't goof on you? What's the big deal? <laughs> Here, I'll tell you what it is. You're going to have on high heels. Oh no. For your pretty feet. Wait, I did high heels are once. Are we going to make You'll be high heels. Killed your leg. Panties. Which, when I say panties, thong panties. No thong. Uh, a bra and a dunce cap that says loser. No. Come on. <laughs> and that's it. Marv did it for free. Come on. Come on. Scott, it's a and grand. And you get a grand if you win. And the- that's well, like, I'm going to count money. to three. And you you got to make a decision. That's a lot of money. You get to choose the team. But you can't walk out of here and make the decision and call your wife. So here you I go. Right I'm going to count to three. I'm going to count to three. Now, right? One. And w- Before three, you got to make the decision. Two. Yeah, what happens if I don't make the decision? Then you blow, then you blow, blow the, the whole thing. The, the bet's off the table. Off the table. Come two. On, Scott, do it. Two and a half. Come on, Scott. Three. Okay, bet's off the table. Oh. That's it. Don, oh. you are such oh. a spoil sport. Oh. I'll tell you what, man. He's afraid of his wife. I'll take that bet. I'm not afraid. Of course, anybody would. I'm not afraid. I tell you this. What is the big deal about walking around in bra and panties? Yeah, what is the big deal? You know what the big deal is? He's afraid of his wife. I'm not afraid of her. You are so afraid of her. I'm not. This guy's totally pussy whipped. You are going to humiliate you like that. (laughs) You you have a son. That's nothing to do with it. You have a son. And he's And everyone's going to say, I'll do the bet. (laughs) Oh, you just let him do it. (laughs) You know what? When you start doing his wife's voice, it's so much worse. I know. It's so much more crap. So it's just better do it, Howard. He just said he'll do it. You're going to oh, do it? The bet's on? What do you take? Team? Yeah, pick yeah. the team. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. He's like buying he's a condo. Anybody got a cigarette? <laughs> Go ahead. Come on. Yankees. You know what? Ha- Yankees? Oh, okay. No. Thank you. Robin, oh, we win. Oh, oh, Cleveland oh. is going to kick ass. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Every Yankee fan in the audience That's just right. really bummed out. <laughs> John's like freaking out. He wanted the Yankees oh, wait, to win. Wait, wait, you just jinxed the Yankees. I'm going to get blamed now. Oh, oh, you just right. jinxed the Yankees. Right. Right, Howard, but at the, least now the Yankees are like, could be happy about seeing him in a... In a the, yeah, at least the Yankees consolation prize is this idiot's going right. to be walking around on a dunce That's guy. our Yankee no, parade. Right. To jinx them. <laughs> High heels, panties, thong panties. Full makeup. Bra. And Dunn's cap that says loser. <laughs> <laughs> and you jinxed the Yankees. That's right. You jinxed the Yankees because you're a loser. The whole city of New York will be upset at me. I just heard the whole city of Cleveland mm. make a big yell. They're so happy. <laughs> Andy Pettit, pack your bags. Robin, don't even bother bringing in a check. I'm not. I'm not going to worry about When's it. When's the game? Tonight? Tonight. Tonight. Oh, beautiful. Just make and sure we get the thong ready. I know what's really good, Howard. I wanted the Yankees to win, too. On top of everything. Why did you take the Yankees if you thought that guy has a bad back, and you said all along right. Cleveland's going to win. Right. That's right. This is so typical, Scott, the engineer. He knows Cleveland's going to no, win. No, no. He no, bet no, no. the let's, Yankees, let, let, and now the Yankees are going to get let jinxed. Me, oh, let me tell you my theory. Losing is in his blood. What now. is your theory? I hope the Yankees aren't listening to the radio. Hey, Ralph, if you're listening, go shopping for Scott. I want thong wow. panties. <laughs> Make them pretty. Right. right. My original opinion was Cleveland would win. Right. So I had to, so that would obviously be the wrong. No, opinion. because it's no. It, it's what you bet, Scott. That's what I it is. So I'm, I'm trying to fake myself out. That's oh, in exactly other words, right. because you believe Cleveland's going to win, you went the opposite of what yeah, you believe. That's, that's but right. it's what he bets. How that you know? That's what yeah, he loses. That's what I Yankees bet. are going to get cream tonight. 
It's going to be devastating. And Howard, you know what the best part of this is? <laughs> Scott has to be here at the crack of dawn, but of course he can't go to sleep till the game's over, so Ooh. he'll be all sleepy oh, yeah. know, it tomorrow. Will, it all done. i got to stay up tonight. All fat. And and all everyone's staying up tonight. All, show. <laughs> all the way around the block in thong and panties, high heels, <laughs> and that ass of his in a thong. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, my God. <laughs> that is going to be some sight. Oh, oh, oh. is that going to be great? <laughs> Bigger crowd than the Easter parade. They're not kidding. <laughs> They're lining up already. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know, there's something Music the way you want good it. about the Yankees <laughs> having to lose tonight. <laughs> Scott's wife's already on the phone. Oh, you are. Oh. <laughs> yes, dear. Yes, dear. You got to look on the bright side. Wait, you got to look on the bright side. I know. Scott, you too. I know. I know he's me. I know he's me. I'll mow the grass today. Uh, uh, listen, uh, we could go out for dinner. <laughs> yes. I, uh, all right. They're going to be laughing at them mm. the, at their bowling league. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not to mention, hey, Joe, you're on the air. Scott, I will buy you a lifetime supply of cigarettes if you just change your bet. You can't do this to Yankees. <laughs> please, please. You know, I don't smoke anymore. I don't smoke. You know how Joe Torre's uh, sister is a nun and everything? Mm -hmm. Scott is stronger than a nun. That's right. She, he's stronger than any prayers that nun can The jinx up. is on the Yankees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Scott's got the whammy. Joe Torre's, Joe Torre's sister just split her wrist. <laughs> I don't believe do you know that. Joe Torre's uh, brother is in the hospital again? Yeah. He's a pain in the ass. Just Every uh, postseason, he has to go into the hospital. This just in from our Vegas affiliate. Scott threw off the Vegas odds. <laughs> what was once even odds now. Yankees now are destined to lose, they say in Vegas. Ooh. They're a long shot. <laughs> They're a long shot. <laughs> the odds are 50 to 1. Oh, the money is changing. <laughs> the money is changing. <laughs> <laughs> All bets off. <laughs> Boards going Guarantee you Cleveland wins tonight. Thank it's a lock. God. Go bet any. Go bet the house yeah, on it. Yeah, you want to make money, tonight's the night to bet. <laughs> there you go. All this, All this work. All this hard work. And Scott changes the entire season <laughs> in one, one moment. <laughs> Scotty, pressure's on, boy. Hey, Scotty, what size shoes do you wear? 27. No, really, what size shoe do you wear? What do you think? I don't know, tell me what size shoe you wear so we can get your heels. Size 12? Wide. Size 12 wide? Yeah. Wide. Wide it. Just like your butt? Just like my butt. My Scott, butt, there is no butt. Scott, That's we are, the problem. Scott, we are ready to see you in broad panties I, tomorrow. I'm sure you are. So, Scotty, what, you would say you're like an extra large or something like that? Oh, yeah. Easily? Easily. Double X. All right. So, extra large and size 12 wide shoe? Yeah. All right. Did you call your wife yet? No. Do you want to call her real quick? No. Why not? She has nothing to do with this. You it's don't want to. You me. don't want to call her real quick and find out what she thinks. I'll tell her later. You'll tell her later. Yeah. When? When I get home. Oh, when you get home, you're not no. gonna tell her now. What the problem? You can't what? just call her now for me. No. Not at all. No, 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 no. Come on. No, I don't want to do that. You won't call your wife. I mean, no, I, I won't hear what she's saying. We'll only hear what you're saying. I know. I don't want to do that. All right. All right, Scott. So we'll see you tomorrow. I'm sure you'll see a lot of me tomorrow. of a jinx is Scott. Never mind all of this. You know what? I <laughs> stayed up yeah. to watch the entire game. Did you really? I because watched the I first two so innings. I was fascinated with Scott. they were going to lose because of Scott. I don't want to bust Scott's balls yet. I want to wait till after the break Yeah. because I have so much ball busting to do. It could take three hours, <laughs> oh, man. but it's going to be a great show today. <laughs> I went to bed saying, I really don't want to pay Scott $500. Uh, that was but never in question. That was never in question. Never in question. There are so many people on the phone. <laughs> there, here's a guy. Everybody's pissed off. Uh, first of all, here's a fax. Uh, please thank Scott the Engineer for me. I never bet on baseball, but I put 10 bucks on Cleveland because of yesterday's show, and I won. Take care, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, okay. I, all right. I got to bust his balls. Uh, I don't. I, you uh, know what? I can't wait can't for the break. Wait. Okay. Can't wait. All right. Here's Scott, the engineer. <laughs> Look how fat he is. Loser. Loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> He's a loser's loser. <laughs> so many people are mad at you. <laughs> smoke, smoke. When you smell smoke, you know he must be near. <laughs> Scott, the engineer. Do you know you're going to lose every bet? Oh, or yeah. I'm not surprised at no, all. Because you I'm, really thought yesterday you were going to win. Believe me, I'm used to this. Why didn't you I pick Cleveland? No let, problem. let me tell you what a, what a mush he is. You know is. why I didn't pl- pick Cleveland? Uh, pick Cleveland? Because that would have been the correct bet. No. No, here's what he told me this morning. <laughs> what? I couldn't bet against, against my Yankees. Yankees. <laughs> anyway, so oh, listen oh. to this. Scott comes in yesterday morning. This is the only reason this whole bit occurred. Uh-huh. Okay? Scott comes in yesterday morning, and he says to Gorilla. A gorilla reports everything to me. He yes. says to Gorilla, you know, I know exactly who is going to. Could you guys stop giving me commands from the booth? Stop it already. You're making me cuckoo. The, 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 the E crew. They're all excited in there with the hair and the glasses. and the, Stop it already. Just shoot around me. <laughs> yeah, well, that would be easy. They're making me nuts. <laughs> just wherever I am, just shoot me. All right? <laughs> Uh, if my face is blocked by the microphone, that's even better. <laughs> fix the microphone. Fix it. You distract me when you put up those notes. You rat finks. I'll throw the whole lot of you out of here. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, don't worry. They can't interrupt my good mood. Okay, because Scott lost. They go fix the microphone. I don't even know where the microphone's supposed to yeah, go. How, how do you fix it? Yeah, I'll fix it in my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, the engineer, might as well have drugged the entire Yankees organization. As soon as he bet on them, I knew they'd lose. Now, they here's the deal. You know I have influence on world, worldly events. Yeah. You do. Of course. Steve Gorilla, if anything. we play cards, you lose. Exactly. I've never seen you win. And you're a good card player. Yes. And you always, and he sits there the whole wait, time wait, wait. with a sad face, let and he goes, no. oh, let me, let me I don't understand it. I can't get one good hand. If he gets up out of his seat while we're playing cards. I win. I would win. The seat wins. Right. And whoever sits down. Whoever sits, and he goes, I should have stayed in my seat. I knew it no, would let get me, hot. Let me explain something to you. If, you. if we played for no money, yeah. I would clean up. <laughs> Great, we Scott. For, like, fake money. Way to go. If I play for That's how to money, win in life. Yeah, if I play for real money. Yeah, you're the win. king of Monopoly. Can't win. That's right. And this follows you everywhere. All of them. Anyway, anyway, wait. I, I, you know what? I want to bust his balls, but it's going to get. You know what? Can we take a break and then I'll bust his balls? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. Definitely. Okay. All right. Because people need to hear this. Yeah. All morning all right. long. Uh, and they don't need an interruption. Yeah, I know. This, it's just, it's just too much. Ah. Oh. Oh. On top of this, are you in trouble at home? No. Uh, tell the truth. Oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> and they do an impression of me on the air. No, absolutely no, not. Either. All right. Absolutely <laughs> not. Like there are so many people from Cleveland who want to thank Scott. Uh, I knew they'd be cheering in the streets of Cleveland this that's morning. That's why they were dancing. I have never been happier that the Yankees lost, just to prove what a loser you are. And as as they were Naughty, losing, the Cleveland, the Cleveland Scott winner. the engineer will be the in a pretty loser, pair of panties, thong panties this morning, and bra. And if anyone in New York wants to see him, he'll be walking around the block. That's Let's right. go right now. No, no, no. We'll, no, no. We're gonna have we a nice build up. Traffic to build. No, no, no. Let's we're gonna make right a nice now. build up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready right now. Let's I know that. you are. <laughs> Dino, give it to him, baby. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Dino Berber. I want to thank my man Scott. Ah! Oh, man. <laughs> what a You want me to make my picks for the? Uh, playoffs the, and the World Series. You're you're the man. <laughs> I make not lose with you. Your <laughs> picks don't count until you bet. I want to see this right. fat slab oh. start parading around your wonderful city. <laughs> <laughs> Bring that hot bag of wind on. You know, I kind of would have done... Hey, you called me a fat slob and I made you win? What the hell's wrong with you? Ah, <laughs> uh, you're being funny now. I love when you're I'm funny. He's trying so hard to play oh, it down. I know, he's like, trying to play it down. And he goes, oh, I didn't want to be in these panties in the first way. <laughs> hey, 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 listen, listen. <laughs> I worked for the show for 12 years. I have no problem. Every once in a while, you got to make an ass out of yourself. Everybody does it. It comes along. This is my time to be an ass. It's my mantra. And ne- <laughs> this is what he <laughs> said to himself all it's last night. Time he's driving him this it's morning. My time. Huh, how, what's my attitude going to be like on the air? I know. Devil I'll, may care. Yeah, devil may care attitude. <laughs> bon my bon. Dino, well, I got to hang up on you because, man, I want to just get to the commercials and I want to continue the ball bus thing. Bring it on, for Howard. Bring I hear you, brother. And I want to see the outfit. He's oh, wait, Robin, you're going to help create whoa, the outfit. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have several whoa, different whoa, pair whoa, of thong whoa, panties. Whoa, 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 several whoa, whoa. The bet was, yeah. if you recall, uh, yes. that I go out on the street in the uh-huh. outfit. Yes. Does not include the studio. Uh, it includes walking around the block. 
Well, it will go, yes, but well, not in well, here. Well, yes, it does include here. No, no, no. Oh, oh Scott, don't try to. What do you mean? You lost. You, you lost the bet. Just right, put on now, your panties and, and bra. I'll be on the street in a panties and bra. That's ah, great. come on, man. Don't even try to change the bet. Uh, I'm not changing the bet. You're How about if Robin and I came in and said, okay, the $1,000, that, that was only in. No, no, no. studio, you can have it, but not outside. Yeah, yeah. No, please. No. Don't be a wuss. You can't loser. do that. Oh, loser. This is why you're a loser. This is why you're a loser. You can't even you can't even lose gracefully. Just take your medicine. No what Unbelievable. Take no matter your what medicine. I say, it's not no going to matter. No matter what I say. He was prepared yesterday. <laughs> After we got off the air yesterday, he was ready. Oh, yeah. He, he I lost the I lost it. It my legs. We knew you lost. I'll tell you the extent of his losing. Forget about the fact that I played, you know, cards, poker, poker with... Uh, Actually, you poke nobody. <laughs> Poker with uh, Scott about 20 times now, 30 times. Mm -hmm. Every time he plays, he loses. Every time oh, he gets out of his chair. a night. As soon as he gets out of his chair and another guy sits down, it, it wins. Get it. I've had break-even nights. Yeah, he has broken even. I'll give him that. <laughs> he's had a couple. That's, that's winning to me. <laughs> but he really, he really just sits there, and it's a sad face, and everyone knows he's going to lose. And he loses. He loses, loses, loses. I remember once you telling me he had a, a great hand, and he lost. <laughs> Not only, yeah, he did. Uh, Eric, One uh, time he had a lock. He had four of a kind. I think uh, I had the best you can get in two you He had four of a kind because we had a, like a wild card in the middle. Yeah. Oh. And another guy had four of a kind, like two cards higher. better. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit higher. Yeah. He had a lock. He was betting into the guy. Yeah. And he was like, and you know, we have rules about betting. But we, he was like, why don't we just throw the rules out the window and get the house? You know? And then you go, wow, Scott's got a really good yeah. hand. This is Scott's chance. <laughs> and everyone throws the rules out the window and Scott's betting into the guy. And he loses. Yeah. Uh, it's fun to watch him lose. And I'm sitting there, and I was looking over Scott's shoulder, because you know you show guys your hand when sure. you, everyone's out? Yeah. He, he, he's like, <laughs> you know, he's got, you know, he's, and he's, he's bluffing. He's like, right. yeah, I'm really nervous. Meanwhile, he's got four eights or something. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way he's going to lose, and he loses. Um, the other guy had like four jacks. Wow. <laughs> we left our ass <laughs> off. <laughs> guys always say, well, I'm out for the night. <laughs> so he's, I'm out for the night. everything. Yeah, so Scott is like the loser's loser. So uh, forget about when we play cards, okay? All right. So Scott gets into race car driving. He loves You love race car driving, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and what happens? I'm uh, passionate about it. Very. Oh, well, yeah. Not, uh, not passionate. I'm a I like bald it. Mario Andretti. You know, even my wife said you sound like um, Popeye. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so, so he got. So every year we send them down. Prodigy sponsors. You know, well, they used to sponsor a car. Yeah, and Scott would go down with Ronnie, and Ronnie would uh, sit there in the pit with Scott. And I How said, How oh. did they let him in? Well, because he wasn't betting. Oh. But meanwhile, <laughs> yeah. then you know, we love NASCAR. But Scott has a favorite race car driver. Who's your favorite race car driver? Oh, like like most people don't. I mean, you know, Rusty Wallace. No, Rusty I don't have a favorite race don't. car driver. I mean, who who are into the sport? Who is it, Rusty Wallace? Yeah. Rusty Wallace has lost. Like every race since Scott became a no, fan. No, no, no. Oh, come no, on. Ronnie absolutely. told me. No, no, Ronnie no, told on. me. You jinxed him. You jinxed Rusty Wallace. The first year the first year I was into it, I followed Rusty Wallace. He won the championship. <laughs> he followed him. Then when you announced you were a fan. He, won, he has won races this year. I mean, okay. All right. Like okay. That's something races. I can't. I, whatever. He's not doing well, but he's right. doing races. <laughs> he's had better just, years. Just, the guy got cancer. Just ignore him. <laughs> <laughs> you know something bad will happen to him. No. If you bet on him. You know he'll die in an accident, a fiery accident. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that. Mario, you're on the air. Yeah, thanks, man. You're welcome, Mario. Oh, God bless you. You stupid <laughs> jack-off. He's a, he's a jinx. Oh, my God. He's a mush. It. Uh, you know, you know, F rose <laughs> I also yesterday, I, F the French, and the biggest F goes to you, Scott. Thank you. <laughs> you are the biggest loser in the world. Yes, I know. Oh, my God, you're pathetic. Oh, it's now my kids got to wait another lifetime to see the Yankees win. You <laughs> stupid putt. They won last year. Relax. You're pathetic. <laughs> you should bury your head like an ostrich. Thank you. Well, today, okay. Scott will be wearing. Now, Robin, as you yes. can see over there, I've got dunce cap. Bras. Uh -huh. I've got various thong panties. <laughs> I've got um, where's his heels? Where's his pretty heels? Mm. No pantyhose. Oh man. No. Oh no, you're going bare leg. <laughs> you should make him walk around the diaper. <laughs> Diaper's too big. Oh, no, no, it covers man. up the, the thong. Can you imagine his ass? How, what are you at? Two sixty? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> He's trying to be so nonchalant too. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do? <laughs>
Am I going to sit here and freak out about it? Here is the pay, uh, his, uh, heel. Oh, there's his heel. Let me see those. What color are those? Oh, those, oh, those are pretty. Mm. You're going to look so hot. Look at those. A little heel. Ooh, oh, baby. those are so cute. You know what? Since you're over 40, these are the right heel for you. Yeah. Oh, not you're too not too trying high, to be too right. youthful. Yeah, they're not F me up. <laughs> those are the relaxed heels. Yeah. <laughs> those are, are some easy spirits for you. going to leave potholes. Like if my wife wore these pumps, I'd be a little, they're a little conservative. But yeah. for a man your age, <laughs> I think these pumps are just right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the size of this shoe. I know. Look at that thing. What is this? It looks like a car. It's a 12. Mm. <laughs> That's a 12? Yeah. You can Tr put a steering wheel on that and drive it. Tracy, hi. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I'm the hugest Indian fan in the world. Right, right man. Cleveland. I helped you out. Oh. And, uh... I, I just got to say, if you know anything about Cleveland baseball, these people have waited all their lives for this. Oh, it's it's unbelievable. It's, and, and you have and Scott to thank. No way, there's no way Cleveland could have done this on their own. They couldn't yeah, have. It's Scott. The Yankees were, I mean, they couldn't do I pushed them over the edge. Yeah. Scott thanked the Yankees, man, and he knew Cleveland was going to win. Yeah. That's why he bet the Yankees, because he goes, if I, because now I know Cleveland's going to win. If I bet them, now the Yankees will win. The Yankees pulled See? out all the stuff. They did incredible things and still couldn't get a run. Tell me something. I Okay, I went to bet after the second inning. Mm -hmm. It looked like the uh, both pitchers were a little shaky because guys were getting walked, guys were getting right. hits. Right. It was a pretty exciting I think, game. I think the Yankees had more hits in that game they than had they had in the first hits. four together. Yeah, I am they so had 12 I know. Hits. I am so and damn still disciplined. couldn't get on, get home. I went to bed at 9 o'clock because I said, I got to go to sleep. I was exhausted. Mm -hmm. I said, but how am I going to miss this game? <laughs> and I went to bed and I said, in the worst, I said to my wife, just in case, leave me a check. So I could, in case I have to write a check right. to Scott, the engineer, she goes, I'm not going to leave you a check. I don't think you're going to need to. <laughs> Even oh. she knows. She knows he's a loser. <laughs> the, the last time that the, that the Cleveland Indians did anything is like 1948. Hey. I mean, that's how far back it goes. You see, you didn't have Scott in 1948. <laughs> that's right. He was just a little baby of seven years old back then. Oh, my God. This is just so huge in Cleveland. You just don't know. I mean, this is the biggest thing. Is and, somebody and, eating and something? The, the series, I mean, the Yankees I are, of the, are the returning oh. world champions. They were supposed to do That's this. That's right. Wow. I mean, it, it just, oh. And, and it's so no funny. You yesterday. know what would be really funny? If Cleveland threw a ticker tape parade for Scott the Engineer. Absolutely. Uh, I, I How need, great I need, would that be? I need, I need to know, I, I need to know two things. <laughs> yeah. Didn't get how, there yet. First of all, how could someone be such a loser? You know, how, how could you be so... Let me tell you something. Scott is such a loser. I mean, he walks around like a loser all day. But he grew and up this way. Know. I know. I, this is the thing. Who does he pick to win the World Series? It, it's who he bets. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It doesn't oh, matter if he bet. doesn't have money on it. <laughs> yeah. If I pick somebody, it doesn't matter. No. I'm it's, right then. It's as soon as he bets. He right. want, He he knew Cleveland was going to win. It's got to be money. It's got to be money. <laughs> <laughs> How about we go double or nothing? It's got to be uh, money. On you you got to let me in on that bet. <laughs> oh, man. I hey, need the money. I just think that Scott, I, I'm sure they're going to have a ticker tape parade for Cleveland yeah. just based on this win. They've got to put Scott on the hood of the car. <laughs> He's in his brown panties, he's the hood ornament. In his brown panties, <laughs> and, and the whole town could be cheering for him. I would, I would do anything to see that. It is just so unbelievable. Hello. Hey, uh, Eddie, you're on the air. Hey, how it? Yeah. That fat bald bastard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to get even with him. Now I'm going to do it. I'm a regional manager of the IRS. I'm going to order his fat ass. You're going to audit, Scott? Yeah. Wow, the oh. IRS is going to audit you. Oh. I'll see Thank you. Uh, Bag 54 yeah, we, he makes any money. We just saw the uh, hearings in the Senate about the IRS, didn't Screw we? Screw that, the hearings. <laughs> <laughs> you bastard. You You're such a Jonah. I know. <laughs> you are a Jonah. Uh, if he ever took a ship anywhere, it'd probably sink, just like the Titanic. Right. That's a ship, Robin. I, oh, I heard it. Right. <laughs> that was a pee. <laughs> well, there you go. You pissed everyone off. Glad to do it. How could you do that to your hometown? <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> you had a bad up. He's a mush. <laughs> He's so He's Look a mush. At Look at him. Look at that so face. <laughs> I'm to come in here and be a good sport. I know. It. There's nothing I can do, man. I can we got to break him. Take it, man. Scott, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. What's up, man? Hey. Hey, did you ever see that movie, A Bronx Tale? Yep. Eddie the Mush. Eddie the Mush. Eddie the yeah, Mush. That's in that fat bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Scott's like Eddie the Mush. Dude, I love the Yankees. I won about a grand because of you yesterday because I bet on Cleveland. Yeah. So what are you so mad about? He still would have liked to see the Yankees win. Dude, you mushed them, man. <laughs> you mushed them. 
I, I, the right. stories are unbelievable. You know, everyone have, knows Scott is such a loser. I have so much power that I made Chris, the Yankees lose. This is Chris. Yes. He bet on Cleveland. He won eight grand because of Scott. Wow. You, hey, you got to split that with eight me. Eight grand? Were you going to even bet the game? I'm gonna no. And then as soon as you heard Scott pick the Yankees, you went out and bet? Howard, I've been listening for a long time. I know what a loser Scott is. He always <laughs> loses. Where's my 10%? <laughs> Sorry, Scott. Where's my 10%? And always begging uh, somebody for mail, 10%. Buddy. It's on the way. He's yeah, always, yeah. And he's always at the other end going, my cut? I was your luck. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, always looking for somebody to give him the so payoff. so powerful. Scott, it ain't going to happen. That big payday ain't happening. Never. It's never. just Not never happening. Not for you. No, no. Everybody around you. Exactly. <laughs> Chris has got $8,000. You don't. I'm hey, surrounded Scott, by millionaires. thanks. There's I'm going to be able to go back to school now because of you. Hey, yeah. No problem, man. <laughs> you betted my life. Thank you. Hey, Howard, I love you. Love you, too. Take it. Thanks. Oh, I just love it. All right, one more fan wants to thank Scott the Engineer. Uh... Uh, I don't know. It's ridiculous. It's just too many people calling to to rag I'm on sure Scott. that you know when you go out on the street, you're going to have quite a reception. Yes. Yeah, all my fans will be out there. <laughs> Aren't we doing this in Cleveland? Didn't we say that? Uh, you should have to do it in Cleveland. <laughs> anyway, um, okay, let's pick out an outfit. All right. Okay. Okay. Don't I get to pick it? No. Don't no. I get to pick it? No, no, no. As you can see, Robin, I don't know if you can see actually from where you're sitting. No, I'm. I'm got a big. Uh, Gary, come on in, in here. In front of me. Gary, help us out so uh, Robin can see this as well. There's a couple of uh, pair of panties there. There's like two. Now, what what are those? Those are those are considered thong panties. There's a string that goes up uh, the, the crack uh, of the butt. Wazoo. Up the wazoo. <laughs> How come they're tampons? I forget why those are there. That was. Uh, Put on his microphone, please. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That was for the girl who stuck those up her nose. Those are left over from last yeah, time. Yeah, a few oh. weeks ago we were decorating in tampons. Tampons right. weren't into the, weren't into the bed. Yeah, remove the tampons. <laughs> you should have to wear a tampon. Yeah. But all right, that wasn't in the bed. So could Gary uh, move that around so I can see or pull it over? There we go. Yeah, oh, okay. look at that. Now look what we have here. Well, we got some flesh colored. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Gary, put it back where it was and then uh, take off each hanger at a time. Okay. okay. All right, let me see. Now, those panties are satin white oh, panties. Very cute. Oh, that's, the, that's the back, right? What yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll never get those on. <laughs> You'll get well, them that's on. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. Bet. <laughs> that's why it's a thong. I'll never that's, get those I mean, on. They'll fit on one leg. No, you'll get them on. Trust me. No, 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 no. I like the flesh-colored ones Let's because see. he would look nude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a G-string. <laughs> look at that. His rolls are just going to come. I'm just so glad That's you lost right. this bet. I can't wait to see your fat. Oh, that's oh bra. look at that now, what size do you think this is? Now, is that a wonder bra? Because I want his breast no. pushed together. <laughs> Scott will be wearing a 40 double D. Excellent. Wow. Oh, ah. I always 40. wanted to be a 40. You think a 40 will pass? Double D. Uh, too small. I, I hope don't know if that'll fit. go on him. No. He ain't going to fit into any of that crowd. Well, he'll fit in the bra. I'll squeeze him into it. Oh, so no, like these. those are bloomers. No, no giant panties. <laughs> oh, those are great. Where are you <laughs> no. going with those? I said a thong. I like those. <laughs> those are not thong panties. Uh, Get no, it out. No, that no, covers no. up too much of that ass. <laughs> and what is that, a robe so he can come out? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I see. And what is that? Is Dunn's cap? Let me see that. What does it say on it? Loser, I hope? Of course. Oh, yes, in big letters. Loser. <laughs> and here are his high heels. This is the other apparel. Let's see. These are very tasteful. Oh, these are nice. These yeah, are good nice. for walking. That's a nice walking shoe. Yeah. <laughs> oh, do I love that you Not lost. <laughs> oh, this is so great. Hey, here's uh, Dominic Barber. He plays cards with Scott, too. Dominic. I flew back from France yesterday. I get on Who the plane. cares? Pilot says to me, <laughs> we're discussing the game for the night. Yeah. He says, well, the Yankees are going to lose. I said, why? He says, Scott bet him. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Dominic, explain how Scott is such a loser when we play cards. Like, all of us have off nights. Sure. We've all lost. But and everybody's had a big night. And everyone's had some big nights. But Scott forget, never does. You forget the time where he had the winning hand on the table. He beat everyone on the table, and you made a bet, like a small bet, and he went out, and he lost the pot, and he couldn't believe it. He was. <laughs> <laughs> you can even, even when he has a winning yeah. hand, you can bluff him out. And it's on the table. Yeah. Yeah, on the table, he won. Because I said to Dominic, I said to Dominic, I'll, I'll bluff him out. Yeah. <laughs> now, for the series, not today, but I'll call in with a substantial bet if you can think of the true punishment he needs. What is that? I'm getting that oh, I don't know. Maybe a double date. He's leaving date with, it up to us. How about a double date with Ralph where they really have to go out for the night? <laughs> oh, go to a club. Go Let me to tell you show. something. He is so humiliated putting on a thong and bra. That, uh, we I don't know if we can top this. This is this can't be top. <laughs> this is the best. He so doesn't want to do this. Uh, he, is he gonna have a bodyguard on the street? You know what happened there to him? People that are really going out of their minds. <laughs> <laughs> I'll call you later. Bye bye. Right. <laughs> he wanted that thousand dollars so bad. Yeah. As soon as he smells oh. that money. 
Oh, money is not everything. Right. I love you, Scott, but you are a loser. All right, I got to go uh, arrange for this. All right, how do you want to do this? Now we got to take a break, but yeah. when we come back, should Scott be in his bra and panties? Yes. <clears throat> I don't think so. I think he should do a fashion show for us. I don't think so. <laughs> I think we got to pick one outfit. Well, I think the white <laughs> is the best. You like the white? He said the the. Flesh colored one is going to disappear into his rolls, and we won't even know oh, okay. he's wearing it. All right, I picked the white panties. <laughs> Since you and I made the bet, Robin, yeah. we get to pick. Okay. We'll pick the white panties. We agree on that. Yeah. And you like that big white bra? Yeah. Because <laughs> that'll be like a little halter top on, <laughs> a little bippy top on him. Yeah, I can't wait to see his cleavage in that. Once you get him rescued. <laughs> yeah, it's just so great. This ah, is just that so big great. belly. Oh, I can't wait I for the, the whole bet. thing. Those hairy legs. I just want to see his ass in a thong. <laughs> yeah, and I bet. What are you, a homo? Hair? Yeah. I bet you the hair goes all the way up. Yeah. What do you oh, think? Oh, he's so hairy except for that chrome dome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah it's everywhere. You're going to look like Marv Albert. How, yes. bad, what? how bad does he need a cigarette right now? <laughs> <laughs> if there were 10 packs, I'd smoke them all right now. Oh, this is just too great. <laughs> I just love this. All right, here's the deal, Scott. Where do you want to change? You want to use my private bathroom? Or right behind this little scrim. No, no, I'll, I'll go in the, uh, <laughs> the regular bathroom. Hmm. Now, do it in my bathroom. Go right ahead. in that little room. Go, go take your um, take we your. can't wait. Gary, so, help him out, will you? You're so nice. Give him his uh, panties and bra. He may need help getting into this. Mary? <laughs> you help him. Mary, you want to help him? Uh, loser Dunn's cap as well and his heels. Yes, don't come out until you're fully dressed. So, put that robe down. What's the point with the robe? What? You don't wear the robe until you get out. Right. <laughs> get in there. Oh, God. <laughs> Do you have any perfume for Scott? Scott, you didn't move your bowels this morning, did you? Ooh. No. Because I don't want any dingleberries. We got to take those back? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we need those thongs back. <laughs> yeah. Other people need to wear them. Oh, is he going to be a frightening sight? I can't wait. He's so sad. He's all hunched over. I know. How well, old is he, he? He's, what, 43, 44? He's 44. He's like somebody's oh, dad. 60. He's like going on 60. Yeah, he never stands up straight. He's right. always walking with the slump shoulder. And you know if like Jackie or Fred had to get into like a panties and bra, they wouldn't look all that bad. No, no. It would be over. But Scott. He's been moping around here all morning since 4 o'clock this morning. Right. He's trying so hard to be a good sport. It just makes it sad or nothing. It yeah, does. he walks through the halls smiling at everyone, like, today's my day to get in panties and bra. <laughs> it's no big deal. Just, I'm like this. Pagliacci, laugh, calm, laugh. I'm I crying knew it was going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just a bit. It's just a radio bit. Eric, go ahead. I've never even heard of the guy. Hey, listen, these hey. don't fit. Wait a second. Scott, the engineer's here. Hold on. I'm hanging up on Hank. Who cares about his movie? I'm hanging out everywhere. Oh, Just course. put, look at you. Oh, oh, you look funny, this man. This is what I couldn't wait to see. You've got some physique. I know, I know. You know what it is? He came out with his pants on and his shirt off. He's trying to break us into yes. it. Yes. Gently. I Just go get your thong on. full effect. No, no, you don't. <laughs> Just come Trust on, get me, in your don't. outfit. I'm telling you, they don't fit. <laughs> so what? That's the what idea. It's a thong. What thong is going to fit you? Look at that belly. Yeah, like they make a thong for somebody. <laughs> look at your boobies. God, you have no muscle tone whatsoever. I, kn- I know. But you do have hair. You know what his sport is? Smoking. <laughs> That's the body you get. Not, and he's well, not yeah. even working out anymore. <laughs> look at that. I gave up working out. And look, there's a young Hollywood actress looking at that. <laughs> That's the best. You're going to have to tile his breasts. Tile his breasts out. We're going to get arrested by the FCC. <laughs> oh. The hair doesn't uh, count as tile. <laughs> what that look how he has hair all, all over. over. T- let me see your back. Turn around. He he's got hair all over his body except on that he- on the top of his head. I'm telling you, this thong is no good. What? Just no, get in your no, thong. No. Of course it's no good. No, no, it's no good. No. What do you mean? No. You can get into it. I'm wearing it now. Oh, you well, are. Take off well, your take pants. off your pants and let's see it. <laughs> Wait a second. What? What is what is his problem? Am I gonna have to right. sit here and whine all day? I'm no homo, but I'll go in. All right, go take a go look. Put it on, and I'll determine whether he's it's got it on. Go in the bathroom with him. Go in. Thanks. <laughs> to hang it. <laughs> go, just get in the bathroom Baba with him. Boo. He's got it under Baba his boo. pants. Get in there. Baba, 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 boy. Like we're gonna be able to see something on. Yeah, like like he even has a penis. Homo. Your wife, your wife yells at you so much, you probably have a vagina. <laughs> I wonder what Scott did to piss off God in a previous Let's life. <laughs> Turn you, around. 
No, it's got it. Howard, it's perfect. It is. It's ah! perfect. Of course. It's, I mean, it's exactly what it should be. It's a thong. I knew it. Well, yeah, Scott, he doesn't want to. That's perfect. the bet, man. That's why it cost me a thousand bucks. Okay, hold on. I'm going to help put the bra on. All right, go uh, ahead. <laughs> yeah, he don't want to be in a thong. He doesn't want to look bad. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm, I didn't realize I'd have to show my ass. Uh, this spong doesn't work. <laughs> That's why we put up a thousand bucks. <laughs> yeah, you know, that wasn't chump change. Yeah. Ready? Breathe in. Breathe in. I know you wouldn't oh! They're going to have to rubber band that. He's not squeezing into his bra. <laughs> yep. I'm just going to put it in once. Okay. okay one hook. One eye hook. Okay. All right, get ready, everybody. Here comes Scott. He's got his dunce cap on. Not and yet. And his heels. And his heels. <laughs> i got to have what? the heels. It doesn't work for me unless i got heels. Scott, push it in. I'm trying. What's he pushing what? in? His, his, <laughs> you know what, he, Howard, he, that's okay, just push it, and that's, that's okay. Are you talking about his penis? Uh, yeah, no, it's the things that are attached to them. <laughs> oh, all oh. those. <laughs> wow. He still has those? <laughs> I, this, okay, now it's okay. I thought he'd been thoroughly Didn't emasculated. Didn't know he had that. Didn't know he had that. He's got to walk around the block in New York City. That's going to take him a good 10 minutes. Oh, yeah. 15. Hey, especially in those shoes. Yeah. It's going to be a nice, <laughs> slow trot. Hold oh, let me get your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <God>. <laughs> <laughs> no running in those shoes. <laughs> He's so fat, too. He put on 20 more pounds since he quit smoking. 40, 40. remember? Oh, 40. Yeah. Jesus Christ, 40. Jesus. <laughs> he was no real when he stopped. Wow. Come on, Scott. I want to see how pretty you look. He just gave me the, you've been in this position, don't goof on me look. All right. <laughs> Imagine, like, a scary Marv Albert comes out uh, in that outfit. Yes. Well, it, it looks a lot like the, the renderings that people have sent, been sending us of what Marv might look in his <laughs> Right. Know, it's panties. scary. Like a bald guy with bra and panties I gotta and tell garters. You, the shoes do it. Yeah. He's almost ready. Chris right. Rock said that, uh, you know, how do, you know, I can understand a guy in bra and panties. He says, but garters? He said, you can't even get a broad in garters. Right. Women don't even do it's that. Like you say to your wife, hey, man, get in some garters for me. And she's like, hey, F you. I don't okay. even have garters. Please, right. What please. is a garter? Oh, please. Shh, shh, shh. Ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes, ladies and gentlemen. I You'll be you. seeing this on the E Show. Scott the Engineer. Ah, <laughs> look how fat you are. <laughs> ah, look at that. Oh, Turn around, man. I got to see. Oh, look at his ass. Oh, man. It's like, it's gross. Look at it. Oh. I can't see the in the middle of the floor. Oh, never be right again. Come over here. Let Robin see. She paid oh, almost. Oh, 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 my God. God. Come look here. Oh. Oh, oh, my oh, my goodness, that thong has disappeared. Oh, my God. Now, you got to walk around the block, Scott. Howard, he should, we should take a break and then have him do his walk yes, around the block. Yes, it's funny because the, the loser's dunce cap looks yeah. like it has payas. <laughs> yeah, it's got like a Hasidic thing going on. <laughs> Scott, you look kind of cute. Everybody should leave work and get out on the street. They don't want to miss this. Wow. Yeah, what, what, what block will he be walking around? I don't even know where our building this is. is. 57. Oh, he'll be walking around on uh, 56. 56. Okay. 56 between 5th and 6th, a little bit closer to 6th. Yeah. Wow. He's not going to do an around the block, just up and down? No, around the block. Once around the block. Once around the block. Nice quick trot. Go, Scott, go. just step out a little bit. Don't put on that robe. Look at that. Uh, do don't put on your, your robe, your baby. Come on. You look so why sweet. Come here. That? He's a big teddy bear. Uh, <laughs> I can me? see why women dig you. Want to do me? Look at how much he's filled that bra. Yeah, I mean, that's scary. <laughs> You really fill that bra. Want to do me? <laughs> he has a chin. Every, everybody in the office all wants to come and see him. He's my biggest fan. Well, let, let, Amy, Amy's dying to see him. Oh, let Amy come in and look. Let's go. Yeah. Let's see. No, no, take, like, you, take, your, take, your, take your robe off for a second. Amy, I will turn you on so no, much. Yeah, take you your towel it. off. He has take a it, chin strap off. and no chin. Yeah, right. Amy, wait. Look, look. Take it off, take it off. Scott. She's already laughing. He's in a robe. Come on, Scott. Take off your robe. What is this? Take off your robe. <laughs> <laughs> Turn around and let him see your pretty ass. Give him the full effect. Give him the full effect. They'll see it on the street. Don't oh, worry. I got to tell you, <laughs> Howard, <laughs> it's awesome, but yeah. the ass makes the whole thing. I know. It's it the does. ass. You know what I like about it? His ass is like one square block. His ass looks like prune face. Yeah. Is this some show or what? Can we paint a happy face on you know his what? ass? There is oh. such, That's not part of the deal. I know. There is such an amount of canvas there yeah. to work with. <laughs> 
All right, Scott, why don't we do this? We'll take a break. That'll give you a chance to get down to the street. These shoes are killing me. Are you sure there's not some little sign you want to put These on his butt? Killing me. No, he's, yeah, that's, he's, he's complied it. with the deal. No lipstick or nothing? No. Uh, Come on, we did that already. You are a loser. Oh, boy. Oh, I love it. And him. he'll be chomping on that gum as he's walking down the street. You know, Scott, right now there's a woman on the phone who wants to give me phone sex. There's I used a woman, to, uh, There's another woman on the phone who wants to pleasure herself in a bathtub while I listen, and this is more erotic to me than anything. <laughs> I'm All glad right. I turned you on. It's the one unbelievable. thing we're missing is like a Yankee pen. Or something. Yeah. Cleveland. Yeah, you know? we are missing. Would you hold the Yankee pennant? I used to enjoy working here. Yeah, he's, he's Miss Yankees. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's take a break. When we come back, Scott will be downstairs. We can watch him on TV. <laughs> take your triumphant walk. Take your triumphant walk in your bra and panties. Come on, we're taking can, can I put regular shoes on? No. 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 Really? No. Yes, of course. Until I get downstairs? We got those, no. Until I get downstairs? No. They're so tight. Until you get Scott, downstairs? You'll be fine. That, that'll be okay. That'll be okay. All right. I, I, I'm acceptable to that. All right. Go All right. Come, on. come on. Scott, we got to get down there. Scott, you're putting them on when you get, when you get it in the breezeway. Okay. All right, hurry up. Tough bet. Just think if you'd won. Thousand bucks. Oh, fuck the money. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. Susan will be proud. Yeah, Good. I'm sure. <laughs> Fucking things are tricky. Oh, my God. It's up my ass. <laughs> so. Even the road was funny with that thumbs <laughs> What's killing I you? I think you're a sport. I get a big race for this, right? <laughs> What's killing you? The thong. What's wrong with the thong? It's up my butt. Well, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's a thong. I know. Do I wear thongs every day, Gandhi? Scotty, tell me what's going on. I'm going downstairs to uh, make an asshole out of myself. There's people with cameras out there. Really? Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. This is show business. Hey, um, Marv Albert's on the phone. He just, you know, Scott's going down to the street now in his bra and panties, but yes. I, I wanted to talk to Marv first. Well, he can relate. Marv, um, is there anything wrong with a guy in bra and panties? Howard, there is nothing wrong with a gentleman expressing himself through his attire. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you are here to say what? That Scott should not be embarrassed to be out on the streets of New York in his bra and panties? No, not at all, but I would like to give him some advice, if I may. Yeah. Please, Marv. How are you, by the way? Uh, I'm, uh, I could be better. <laughs> you know, you sound like you're in pretty good spirits for a guy who's been through what you've been through. Well, Heather and I have been up all night long rehearsing. Rehearsing, rehearsing what? what? Well, we're just rehearsing with each other. Just rehearsing in case of what? In case we get a threesome. Oh, I see. Oh. It must be pretty boring for you to be holed up in a hotel room with your, you know, fiancé. Yeah, how do you get a guy in there? Well, we were hoping that Scott could do a drive-by. <laughs> Marv. Yes? Do me a favor. Give me one of your trademark yeses. Yes! Oh, uh, that's great. As a matter well, of fact... We can't hear that anymore, How? It's hard to hear that anymore. Yeah. That's true. You know, Marv... Uh, tell me about uh, Scott the Engineer. What, what is it like for a man to put on a bra and panties and walk through the streets? Well, first of all, Howard, there's a few things that you've got to keep in mind when you're dressing up in a, in a provocative way. First of all, you have to make sure that your nuts are tucked in their correct position. <laughs> right, because you want to look like a woman, right? That's right, yes. It could be up in the middle, to the left, or to the right. So it doesn't, it, is, it, it all depends on the way you're, you're fitted. What did you prefer? Actually, uh, I was the split right up the middle. <laughs> that sounds painful. Hey, Marv, uh, really, this is uh, tremendous that uh, you're willing to talk about this kind of stuff. It's kind of like you're doing the play-by-play -play for Scott as he walks down the street. I, I could, yes, I could do that. Good. We'll probably keep you on the line during all of this confusion. What other advice do you have for Scott the engineer? Well, he, he, he should also suck in his butt, Howard. Right. Uh, and, and try not to uh, break wind. <laughs> it's really a big turnoff for the ladies and for the men. You know, uh, you were an extra feminine kind of uh, woman. You always wore garters and uh, all that kind of stuff. Should we have put Scott the Engineer in garters? Well, I don't know about that. He is a large gentleman, I remember. And uh, I think if he popped one of those, he could take out a small child. <laughs> all right. Any other advice? Uh, yes. If his nipples get hard, uh, he shouldn't worry. It's only natural. <laughs> you know, you're so full of advice. That's why people love you. Yes. All right, let's see if Always we... Always very knowledgeable. Let's see if we can't get out on the street. Let me see if I can find uh, Scott the Engineer. Scott, can you hear me? Yeah. Hello? Hello. Yes, okay. Uh, are you taking off your robe? 
The rub's off, man. All right, here we go. He is walking down, Robin. If you watch the television fans? screen, is it they're all out here. Out there. There's a couple of the fans already. Is so loud. The fans are going wild. This is just impromptu. People collecting on the street. There were police officers. It's all wet. Be proud, Scott. Be proud. Marv says, "Be proud." What was that? Be proud. Um, Scott is wearing a giant dunce cap. <laughs> he is the Jonas. He cost the Yankees really the game proud. last night. Don't, I want to tell him not to bite anybody while he's out there. Money, Don't. They're throwing money at me. All right, Scott is in bra and panties. I got to see the back back view of his uh, thong and tuchus. He walks so femininely. Marv, are you uh, jealous? Uh, yeah, actually, he. <laughs> All right. All right, what a crowd. Sing a show too, Marv says. Hey, uh, Scott. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Scott is walking. To Scott, talk to me. What do you think of my outfit? Beautiful. Beautiful. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful Scott is thing. talking to various people on the street. Marv, hang in there with us. We'll get back to you in a second. People taking pictures of Scott's behind. There's a gentleman I'm taking looking. a picture. There are tons of fans taking pictures. People walking behind him screaming, loser. He's in high heels. He's in a thong. What was that? And bra. You the fucking loser. Whoa. Hey. hey. Easy. Hey, hey. Easy. I'm the one that's a loser. You use that language, goddammit. <laughs> 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 Guy used the F word. I had to bleep him off the air, Robin. He called Scott an effing loser. Scott started yelling back at him. There were guys giving Scott uh, money. Watch the cord. Yeah, they tried to stuff it into his G string. There's no room. It's like scores. You know, his legs aren't half bad. All right, man. Yeah. He has no butt. The Frito Lay man's here. He has no buttocks. <laughs> Look at that. His whole, his whole buttocks is just. <laughs> it was going to be a rape. Thank you. He's standing over a grate. He must think he's Marilyn Monroe. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks he's Marilyn Monroe standing over that grate and waiting for the wind to blow up. You like my... Whoa. Talk to some people, like Scott. Outfit? Oh, gosh, you're so sexy. You're a turn on. Thank you, thank you. Wait, what she's got something for me. Wait, she's reaching into her pocketbook to give him money. Give him a cigarette. Give him a cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> $20. Yeah. $20. Take it off. Take it all off. Take it all off. Take it all off. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a frightening thought. I'm not a dancer. Give her a dance, Scott. Give her a dance. Give her a dance. You know you want the 20. Wait, I'll give you a little peek. <laughs> oh, he's giving her, he's flashing her. He's showing a nipple. That ain't worth 20, man. Woman's putting $20 in his G string. This wasn't a bad idea for Scott. Hey, man. I'm making more than a thousand down here. Scott doesn't have much of a penis, does he? No, there's not. You know, he's not having to tuck away much. He's trying to be a good sport. He's putting a good face on it. Scott, can you hear me? Yeah, so that's always important, though, Howard. I don't think Scott can hear me. Scott, can you hear me? No. No, I hear you. Okay. Why don't you do a little dance? I love the bell. Yeah, you might get some more tips. What do I pee pee, pee dance? dance? Yeah, do a pee pee dance. Sing brown fingers, Scott. Pee pee dance. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Scott, give her a dance. These hot, hot chicks, man, are just unbelievable. They love me. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves you. I love the belly jiggling as he walks. Yeah. It's pretty frightening. All right, Scott, thank you. Okay, man. Anytime. You're the boss, man. Can I have the robe, please? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that ass. He's such a loser. Hey, give him a shot of my ass there. You know, anyone he bets, he always loses. I want the rope. Rope, please. <laughs> like someone's going to give it to him. Yeah, just stand there and let him yell. Marv, yeah. I guess uh, it's not that humiliating being in a bra and panties. You wish you were out there, don't you? Well, you know what? I never thought I could say this before, but I think Scott is actually a bigger loser than I am. <laughs> yeah, you only lost your job. He lost his dignity. Yeah. Okay, fine. Good anyway. Thanks. Oh, I don't know what's going Scott, what's going on out there? I'm putting, I'm putting the robot, all right? Okay. All right, thanks. Some chicks coming on to Scott. Yeah, maybe he uh, should walk around in bra and panties all the time. Well, at least it gets him some attention. So well, he'll he'll tell Scott that I'll meet him over at Victoria's Secret and tell him how to pick up some good stuff. <laughs> well, Marv, you went for, like, uh, muscular black guys, right? Yes, yes, uh, but a white guy every now and then to throw it into the pot isn't bad either. Right. All right, Marv, thanks. Thank you. Okay. 
There he is, Marv Albert. Mm -hmm. Scott the Engineer taking his triumphant walk. Wow. <laughs> what a great bet. And I knew I'd win. Oh, it was the best. Yeah. That was so funny. He is frightening. <laughs> Look at him. He's, He's still so there. <laughs> He's still standing out on the street. Why are you still out there? All right, we're going. Let's Scott, go. why are you still out there? Let's go. This is great. Scott, why are you still out there? I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for, uh, for Ganji. <laughs> Look at the police looking at him. Robe now. <laughs> Robe now. Hold on. He's starting to get angry now. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> what is it, Gorilla? Howard? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. They're trying to communicate with me. We've never actually worked Hello? that out. Yes, Gorilla. Stupid. He'll answer that name. Stupid. Yeah. Okay. What uh, <laughs> What do you want to tell me? What do you want to tell me? Ah. All right. Smooth. It is a, it's a smooth operation here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was great. I had to win that bet. Uh, I'm sorry the Yankees lost. But it was worth it. Right now. Oh, there's Scott, the engineer. We're talking about a pro here, though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh God. God. Scott, man, you are fat. Look at the money. Look at, man, man. Look at the back of him. 20? <laughs> How much? More? Yeah. Oh, you are <laughs> Look at your belly. Turn one? around and show Howard what's going on in the back there. What do you eat to get that fat? Hold on, phone sex. Lady. I don't know. No, what I do stop. you eat? I don't work out. That's I know you don't work out. You don't care what you look like? Well, I do, but I, I guess you don't care. It was more it was more at this point to you're get married of, and get you're rid a loser. Of smoking? No, I wanted to, you know, that's where right. I gained all the weight. Right. Turn around. Oh. I say Scott's such a loser now that he quit smoking, he still gets cancer. Yeah. Turn He's one around. of those guys that he didn't quit in time. Well, I told you, it won't make any difference. Right. His lungs will still be the same. A year from now, we could test his lungs. They'll still be as bad Let's as Let's do the test today. this Christmas and see if there's a difference. Or you know what'll be funny? He doesn't get cancer, but he has a heart attack from going up in weight. Oh. <laughs> That'll be funny. <laughs> I know it's going to be one or the other. Yeah. I still say we're going to be at his funeral within two years. Oh. Look at Probably him huffing, last all year. huffing and puffing just from walking. All right. The shoes are killing me. <laughs> uh, killing Come me. out here and turn around one more time. Howard what? has to see the back of you one more time. Yeah, let me just see your back. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Can't take it, huh? Wow. Use Unbelievable. The way you want it. <laughs> uh, uh, All right, go uh, change it. It's, it's sickening. Thanks. Thank you. You should wear that at your gigs. <laughs> <laughs> he probably would. He's <laughs> so fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm repulsed. Cool. Repulsed. I mean, that was, you saw Scott. I'm overweight. Scott is repulsive. I mean, that was like the worst position you've ever seen him, right? He looked worse than Mary in her high heels. Scott, we have made fun of Scott a million times and humiliated him a million times. And this is a million times worse than the worst time we ever humiliated him before. Garrett, of all the wacky things we've done on the show, what would you think of Scott Salem today in his broad panties? I mean, I thought it was no wackier than anything we'd, we'd ever done until it, the bra thing was okay and the high heels was okay. But that thing that was wrapped around his ass was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And his butt was so funny looking. And believe me, you know, my butt's pretty big too, but... His butt had like um, stretch marks on it or something. I don't know what was going on, and it just looked. That was pretty funny looking. Does it sort of change your opinion of Scott, or I mean, make no, you think he's no, worse? not to me because uh, we've all been down that road, or let's just at least just me and Scott. What did you think of Scott's I ass? Oh, he has none. He just has like this flat thing with a big line down the middle of it. Was that possibly the worst ass you've ever seen? Yes, definitely, because the hair rose up to that flat surface. Surface. And it just, and then you know when the the um, G string string part of the 
this G <laughs> disappeared. And you know, and it separated the two, the, that line that goes down the middle. It was the funniest thing. <laughs> you know, Scott looked like a plumber even with no clothes on. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. Bye-bye. Scott, what are we doing here? Um, they're gonna show me what my butt looks like out on the street. I never get to see it, so uh, this should be very interesting. us look like this. Why? Why would why would we want to look like this? I, I've really seen enough. You, you can kill it. They are nice legs though. It doesn't look like anything. It looks like a pancake with a crack in the middle. Did you know that's what you look like almost naked? Uh, no. I had some idea. Let's see your back. I'm going. I gotta go to work. I've seen enough. Scotty, you totally repulsed. I'm gonna go throw up.